Every year, there's just a time in the in the spring where uh, the bugs just really start to go like crazy, and uh, we've hit that time of year. And uh, aphids are just uh, having a heyday out there with uh, all the moisture, and the plants are green, and things are growing like crazy. It's like a perfect time for the aphids, and so they're really starting to become active. I've got some pepper plants right here that have aphids all over them, and uh, hopefully you can see what they look like. There's a lot of different kinds of aphids. There's some right there by my right there by my finger. Uh, there's all kinds of different aphids and they're attacking all kinds of different plants right now. So we're, we're seeing aphids on roses, on uh, cherry trees, on uh, you know, basically everything that uh, is, is green and beautiful and, and tastes good. Snowball bushes, very common for the aphids to be on. And they love peppers. For some reason, they just uh, think pepper plants are, are just the best. So they, they love peppers. There's some really good ways we can control the aphids. Uh, a lot of different methods, uh, different things we can use on different plants. Um, aphids, of course, love maples like crazy. And so uh, during the summertime, you'll see the leaves go real shiny and you'll see uh, you know, sap dripping out of the trees. That's a sure sign that you've got aphids. So it's not an uncommon problem. In fact, it's a real common problem that we have. And there's a lot of different ways we can control it. The first one is with ladybugs. And uh, we sell ladybugs in containers. And I've got them in the refrigerator and uh, it keeps them happy while they're, they're waiting to be taken home. And the aphids uh, the, the ladybugs will eat aphids about as fast as they can get them. Each container has about a thousand to fifteen hundred ladybugs, and uh, you release those in the evening. The ladybugs will go out, and they'll just they'll just get all over the plants, and they'll just go and eat those aphids as fast as they can get them. So, ladybugs are a great way to control a very large area, especially an area that uh, you don't really want to spray. And uh, the ladybugs, within a week or two, will actually clean all the aphids out of a, a very very large tree. In fact, uh, one container of ladybugs can do a quarter of an acre yard and as long as there's food there for them the ladybugs will stay and eat the aphids but as soon as the aphids are all gone they'll go and find lunch somewhere else so the ladybugs will stick around and take care of the aphids now, if you've got a really big tree and you can't spray it and the ladybugs just aren't going to take care of it there's a really good way to control that uh, this is a product that's called the tree and shrub systemic insect drench it, it's not a spray you don't spray it on the trees we're actually going to mix it up in water and uh, we're going to water the trees with this particular product all you have to do is take a tape measure and and measure the circumference of of the tree so if you're tree is this big around you want to measure all the way around the tree at about waist high so somewhere you know around waist high just take a tape measure go all the way around the tree figure out how many inches there are in that tree and uh, then you use one ounce of the tree and shrub systemic drench for uh, every inch of distance every inch of circumference around the tree put in a five gallon bucket of water and uh, water the tree with it. It works great. Usually I'll, I'll take my bucket, I'll measure the tree, let's say it's 15 inches around. You know, I'll take 15 ounces of the tree and shrub and I'll put that in the five gallon bucket, add three gallons, four gallons of water, whatever amount of water I need to water that tree with. And then right around the trunk, you can just pour that on the ground right around the trunk. It'll absorb it up through the root system, run it through the entire circulatory system of the tree, and the tree and shrub drench will kill the aphids from the inside out. Basically, it'll work on any kind of insect that will uh, attack the tree. So anything that's sucking sap out of the leaves, like the aphids, or it works on boars, it works on gall, and it works on a lot of different insects that attack the trees. But it won't bother your uh, your beneficial insects like the ladybugs won't bother praying mantids. It really does a great job. Um, if you have some edibles, we can't use this on an edible plant. So we can't use this on a cherry tree. We can't use this on a peach tree. Uh, definitely can't use it on our pepper plants. And so we would wa want to go with a different product. So if you want to go with a, a natural control, kind of like the, the ladybugs, the neem pie right here from Natural Guard, the neem pie does an excellent job on aphids. It's a combination of neem oil and pyrethrins, which are two natural and insecticides. Uh, plus it'll take care of diseases as well too. So if you have a little bit of powdery mildew, this will take care of that as well too. But a very effective way to control the aphids if you want to use it in your vegetable garden, if you want to use it on your cherry tree, you know, anything that's edible, you can use this right up to basically right up to the day of harvest. So if you're going to be harvesting cherries, you can spray this the day before you pick it and uh, wash your cherries off and eat them and not have any problems with it. So the neem pie will do a really good job at controlling the aphids. Uh, very safe, all natural uh, ingredients. Really does a great job. Otherwise, we've got products like uh, malathion or permethrin. This is the malathion right here. And the malathion and the permethrin do a very good job at controlling the aphids. Again, safe to use on fruits and vegetables, uh, safe to use on ornamental plants, 
plants, flowers, shrubs, trees, you name it. Uh, some very good uh, sprays that we've got to get those aphids under control. And uh, they're difficult to control once they start to curl those leaves down. And the, the corners of the leaves will really start to curl down when you have aphids on your plants. And it's kind of hard to get some spray up underneath the leaves to take care of that. So uh, we really do... Uh, we really have had great results with the ladybugs and uh, very, very good results with the tree and shrub drench because they'll, they'll work even after the, the aphids have really started to curl those leaves up. A little bit more difficult to control them with a contact insecticide like the neem pie or, or the malathion. So aphids, big problem this year and uh, it's a good time to try and get those under control either with your ladybugs or uh, some of our other uh, insecticides that we've got. Uh, good time to get those under control.